BLCM time on the morning show is uh, 7.34. And a lot of folks uh, definitely have uh, heavy hearts uh, about this uh, little guy who really uh, needs our help. Uh, his name is uh, Kalen. He's only uh, seven years old. Uh, and uh, Tom Collins and uh, some friends dropped by uh, studio yesterday to... Uh, uh, tell us a little more about this uh, story. It's about a little boy that's seven years old uh, that's got uh, a fatal disease. Uh, it was just by chance that I banged into him at the uh, the community hospital here at James Bay Memorial Hospital in Gander. Um, met his mom, actually. Uh, walked in the hospital. I was getting planning on getting some blood work done for some tests that I was doing myself. And, and I looked at her, and I said, How you doing? She said, Good. And she said, How you doing? I said, Good. I said, You know just chit-chatting back and forth and I just shared you know what was happening with me and then I said uh, how's your little boy and I knew her little boy was sick I actually thought this was actually Kayla actually the little boy that has uh, Batten's disease that we're going to discuss in a few minutes um, so she told me uh, she shared with me and she just poured her heart and soul out to me and and you know just seeing tears in her eyes and it just absolutely captured my heart, what story that she said. Um, she told me that uh, her son has a fatal illness, uh, which is uh, Batten's disease. And what Batten's disease is, is actually a disease actually that attacks the, uh, your brain. Um, eventually, uh, you develop multiple seizures. Uh, you go blind, and it's fatal. So you become paralyzed, and, and you lose all your body functions. And... Uh, there's no cure for it right now. Um, we'll talk about uh, a little bit about what the research is and what's going to happen. Um, in that conversation that I had with her, and it just hit me right, right in like my soul, and it was just like, "What can I do for you? How can I help you?" And she just shared some other things, and it just. Uh, I went home and I thought about it, and I, I spoke to uh, my fiance, and I said, "You know what? We got to do something with this little boy." And it started off with uh, the mustard seed. Don't know where it came from. I know where it came from. It came from my heart because as a young child, actually, I knew about the, uh, the mustard seed. And it's all about, you know, your faith and your faith and walk with, with, you know, the man above. And I lost that faith. And since this has happened, it just restored my faith in, in God. It sort of my faith in my community, the people in my community. Uh, and every every soul that actually actually that touched uh, Kaylin's life. That is uh, Tom Collins. Uh, that's uh, a little bit of uh, the interview that we had uh, yesterday. Uh, more segments we'll be broadcasting uh, next week uh, on the VLCM uh, morning show. And uh, uh, we definitely need to uh, keep uh, uh, Kaylin uh, in our thoughts. And and there's been a, a pretty amazing uh, round of support uh, from businesses uh, throughout uh, the region. And a number of fundraisers uh, will be happening. And you can certainly get in touch with uh, Tom Collins if you would like to uh, find out more. Uh, plus, uh, Dave Collins and the local band uh, Horizon, uh, uh, they have uh, recorded some, some music as well. And we'll have more on that uh, coming up next week. And they got a Facebook page uh, set up, uh, uh, Kalen's Run. Uh, and there, you can find out details of the auction. And uh, if you would like to support this cause, you can certainly uh, log on to social media there. And, uh, and support uh, a very important cause, this uh, little guy, Kalen. More school information. And I'm Dean Clark. It's the VLCM Morning Show at 7.05. Kalen is a seven-year-old uh, little boy uh, from uh, the central Newfoundland area who's uh, recently been diagnosed with a chronic fatal disease. And uh, all money raised and a number of fundraisers that are ongoing will be uh, given to uh, Kalen and his family to uh, help with expenses as they... Uh, go through uh, this uh, trying time. Batten's disease is a rare fatal disease that affects the nervous system. Uh, children like uh, Kalen with uh, Batten's disease suffer seizures, progressive loss of motor skills, uh, sight and mental capacity, eventually becoming blind, bedridden, and unable to communicate. It is a, a truly a dreadful uh, disease, so uh, we're going to see what we can do to uh, help out to Kalen. Tom Collins is uh, the organizer of these uh, fundraisers that's been happening. I've had a chance to look at uh, the Facebook page, and I mentioned that there's uh, amazing uh, support, and you can see it in many of the, of the images uh, on the Facebook page. Anything in particular you'd like to talk about there? 
Uh, everybody's got a story. Um, everybody that I spoke to, I'm being basically uh, Kalen's advocate right now. And not realizing that when I talk to them, it's not just Kalen and Kalen's family. It's all of our families. Everybody's got a story. I mean, I just shared a story uh, with a lady actually about 30 minutes ago. And she shared that uh, her son got killed here in Gander. And you know, I said, you know what, son? Not a lot of people know, but my firstborn. I lost my firstborn. And just to think about it what's going to happen to this family. And, you know, due to this illness, we don't know. We don't know from one day to the next what's going to happen. But we're not going to give up on, on faith. This is something that's uh, close to your heart, isn't it? Uh, it is. It is. Uh, you know what? I, I just come to terms with it. It's hurt. And you lose something that you love. Yeah, as you can hear, this is uh, very close to uh, Tom Collins' uh, heart. And uh, and as I mentioned, we do have uh, a number of fundraisers uh, happening. You've got a Facebook page uh, set up, uh, Kaland's Run, where you can uh, find out more. Uh, the business community have been uh, very supportive. And you know what they say, uh, music is therapeutic. And uh, the band uh, Horizon, uh, uh, Dave Collins is the manager of that band, and... Uh, to feature a little bit of their music coming up uh, later this hour. This Sunday at 1.30, catch up with the conversation. Or CKGA at VLCM.com. Earlier this hour, we were talking about uh, uh, a number of fundraisers uh, happening in the region for uh, Kalen, the seven-year-old little boy who has been uh, uh, diagnosed uh, with uh, a pretty uh, terrible uh, disease, uh, uh, Batten's disease, and... Uh, Tom Collins is uh, the main organizer uh, for this. And uh, you know what they say, uh, music is, is therapeutic. Uh, Dave Collins, and he's the manager of a band called uh, uh, Horizon. And uh, he's uh, involved uh, in this uh, fundraiser as well. I'm involved because Tom came up to me. Tom is my cousin, and uh, I've known him all my life. He's, he's the guy fitting for this, obviously, because Tom's always been a wonderful fellow and always appreciated his mannerism and the way he, he behaves himself. So Tom asked me, he said, David, I'm, I'm helping out this little boy, Kalen. Is there anything that, uh, that the band can do, like your son sings, and is there anything they can do to help us out? And I said, well, Tom, right now the band is, is kind of uh, emerging out of, uh, you know, jamming and doing things and trying to apply for the East Coast Music Awards and in St. John's with Music NL and all the things I'm doing for them. And I said, Tom, I really don't know what I can do, but I tell you what, Tom, you send me an email and tell me the story of the little boy. So he did, and it moved my heart. I, I said, like, if there's anything we can do, Tom, we will help you out in any way, shape, or form that this band can. So, of course, then I told the band about it, and they immediately, you know, I told them the story about Kalen and, and everything, and they were immediately involved. They said, whatever it takes, we'll do what we can. And, of course, I, I, I told my son Matthew and all the band, and, of course, they were, they were ready to go. I mentioned that I watched uh, some some video, and uh, it was really enjoyable watching you guys rocking out to some Zeppelin. Yes, they had a great time there, yeah. But uh, Evolve, obviously, is a very serious, heartwarming song. Tell us about that. Well, Evolve to Love was a song that Matthew, and he can explain a little bit more about the song when he gets up there to talk, but uh, I, it, it became so moving to me when they were here with the World Trade Center and the steel and that. I went out on the side of the road on Airport Boulevard, and I... I watched the piece of steel go up, and his song was in my head at the time, Evolved to Love. And I said, you know, I'm going to send that song to the World Trade Center, to the people who, who organized this. And they responded back to me fairly quickly and said, thank you very much. Wow. We really enjoyed the song. So, so the song is about love and evolved to love that we need to love one another. And, and that whole emotional thing about the World Trade Center and everything came to me that that Matthew and them sang this song, not only, so the reason sending it to them was that not only did Gander help you physically, there's healing in music. Yep. So I said, we, we, we sent you this because we know it'll move you emotionally. It's a beautiful song and it's about love. So Dave, I'm going to ask you to tell me uh, who are the band members. Uh, we'll get uh, Matt here in just a few seconds, but uh, what's the lineup? Well, the lineup is Matthew Collins is my son and uh, Shannon Rose Collins, his wife. And we have William Chant. He's the uh, he's the uh, rhythm guitar player, and we got uh, we got Jeffrey uh, 
Harvey is our bass player, and Adam Fudge is the drummer. So we'll, we'll get Matt to, to come here to, uh, to the bike. Uh, so Matt, uh, welcome, uh, welcome to, uh, uh, welcome along, and uh, Evolve to Love. Uh, talk about the inspiration. Uh, yeah, I wrote that song a few years ago, actually. Uh, <coughs> me and my wife Shannon were sitting in the house writing. Um, sometimes I'll sit down and write a song in a half hour and we'll put it together. But this one, I sat down started writing and when we both started reading what I was writing we both got goosebumps right away yeah so we kept going right and it was really good and basically the song is about uh, examining and exposing the problems in society that no one wants to talk about the, the thing about how people can just walk by people who have a problem and not help them with it and it's okay now because you know we all have money per se so much and but yet some of the people who get left behind don't get any help so how did we get so cold, right, is the point of the song. I just go out and hang myself 